Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I finally just got back from seeing Black Klansman. This is a 2018 film that was directed by Spike Lee. And I say finally because this is a film that not only was I curious about uh, by the trailers and the name of it, but then I heard a lot of good word of mouth reviews for it were really good. So finding the time in my schedule to sit down, go to a theater and watch it was the only issue. But I'm so glad that I finally did. The plot is we meet uh, John David Washington who plays Ron Stallworth who is a black guy who wants to be a cop. So, and not only does he want to be a cop, but he wants to be an undercover detective. And he gets a sign where he almost puts it upon himself to investigate the KKK. But the way how he talks, he's almost passable for a white guy, I guess. Uh, just his, his speech patterns, just he sounds very white, especially on the phone. So as he's communicating with the KKK, they eventually realize, well, we're going to have to meet with these guys. So we need somebody else to do that. Here comes Adam Driver as Flip Zimmerman, who has to pretend to be Ron in person, while the real Ron, a black guy, has phone conversations and sets up meetings and tries to keep this scheme going until they can find hard evidence against the KKK that they're planning this big violent attack. Now what I thought of Black Klansman was, I really enjoyed the film. I did for so many reasons. First things first, let's talk about Ron Stallsworth, who is played by John David Washington, the son of Denzel Washington. How funny is it that as many times as Spike Lee has made movies with Denzel Washington, the fact that now he's going to start making movies with his son? Imagine that. And he's really good. I was trying to figure out, I probably should have looked up like an interview or something of this actor talking in real life or maybe another role that he's done. I was trying to figure out, does he really sound like this? Does he really talk this this this, this way? It'd be funny if he did, because how the hell did he grow up underneath Denzel? But uh, I like the fact that, sure, his race was a big part of it. And sure, you got the, a side plot of certain cops or certain other people not liking the fact that he's a cop or not liking the fact that he's trying to do the right thing but that 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 wasn't the main thing the main thing was him wanting to go after the kkk the main thing was adam driver going undercover and the danger that he was in because there were certain people that you weren't sure if they were buying this cover story if they were buying adam driver because not the issue isn't just the fact that the guy on the phone is black and Adam Driver shows up, but the fact that Adam Driver is also Jewish. And it's something that I never, I guess maybe I'm naive to, or it's kind of good that I don't really know about this, but the KKK hates Jewish people and they're almost in the same boat as black people to them. So to see a black person and a Jewish person come together to go up against this was was an angle that I was not expecting and that I found just as fascinating, just as interesting to see where that went. And I feel like every time you can get a movie that does this really well, has somebody go into cover and you're worried about them getting caught, you're worried about them having to keep up with the lies or if they slip up or to see just those tension scenes, I am a sucker for that. You know, you do that well enough I'm going to be glued in, I'm going to be zoned in, and I definitely was. Other cast members, Laura Harrier plays Patrice. She's the girl that uh, Ron has a thing for. She's very much into the black movement and the Black Panthers and whatnot. Uh, I feel like I've seen this actress before, but she was really good. And Topher Grace plays David Duke. He's the head, the grand master of the Ku Klux Klan. And it's just, it's funny to me. The see Topher Grace play this much of a racist motherfucker, uh, especially because he was convincing with it. And Alec Baldwin is also in the movie, Corey Hawkins, and Michael Buscemi, who for the longest time I thought was Steve Buscemi throughout this whole film. I'm like, oh, they got Steve Buscemi too. And then 
I looked it up and saw that no, I guess it's his brother. What do you know? So guys, obviously I have a lot of good things to say about this film. I think it was uh, directed well, shot well. I think it was uh, acted very well. As of right now, it is in my top 10 best of the year. We'll see if it stays there. Let me know in the comments below if you too saw Black Klansman, what do you think of it? Do you like it as much as I do? Is it in your best of the year so far? Like, comment, subscribe. Later!